Welcome back to Sound 101. I am Andrew from DD Microphones, and today's episode is three tips for OBS so you guys can get better audio. So let's get started. So let's jump right into it. We've got OBS on our computer here, and all I've done so far is add a webcam to the image, as you guys can see down in the window here. So let's actually talk about the audio that we've got going on, and that is something as simple as I've got the VLOV plugged right into this OBS computer. So you can see that I've brought that in, and for those who are familiar with how this works, we're gonna quickly just show you real fast. Under microphone and aux audio, just audio right there. There's your microphone. That's the one right there on the motherboard. That's not the tip. That's just to show you how we got to where we are right now. So here's the number one tip that I'm going to give you. And that is negative nine DB on the VU meter is your enemy. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you notice, they've actually got it starting at negative 10 DB, the red zone, which red means clipping. And funny enough in OBS, it means clipping also but why is it marked negative 10 instead of say zero DB where it should be? The software is exactly what it's worth and what you paid for it. Just know that as soon as you hit negative nine DB down in that VU meter, it's going to clip and start clicking and dropping out and just sounding terrible. So what we're gonna do is add a filter. We're gonna come in here and we're going to drop in a filter and it's called limiter. What I'm gonna do now is come over here and I love sliders. Sliders on plugins is the best thing. Rotary knobs suck. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna type in negative nine dB and boom, I'm done. Negative nine dB. And as soon as I shout into this thing, it is not gonna clip over there. Ah! Boom, as you can see, we never hit that negative nine DB. It locked us off and we never got clipping audio. Now you may clip at your microphone head, but that is a completely different issue for what we're doing right now. It probably sounded just fine. So negative nine DB is the enemy and the fix it audio limiters. Tip number two is also filters. And that is this, the noise gate and noise suppression built in the OBS is actually your friend. Well, it's not the best noise gate and best noise suppression software out there. And personally, you know, I'm using RTX broadcast over here, but GPUs are hard to come by. I mean, you may not get a new GPU uh, this year. Let's just face it. Uh, they're, they're, they're impossible to get. So what I'm going to show you now is the next couple of filters you should be using on your projects. And that is noise gate. And honestly, these are pretty good. I mean, I may take the threshold for the open a little bit higher, like uh, negative 18 because as soon as it opens up, uh, you can see I'm definitely hitting above that negative 24 and that's gonna keep it open. And that negative 32 is when it finally shuts off. And that's perfectly fine. This is what I actually use when we do our live streams and I do live streams for other companies because not every environment is conducive to really good sounding audio. And if you're trying to do something and there's a little bit of background noise, this will take care of it. Now, how do you get rid of that background noise to begin with? So you start with really good audio, you do noise suppression. Now this does have an option and that is you can do something that has lower CPU usage, but I find my OBS setup. Now, mind you, I'm running a i7 9th gen doesn't really take up, but maybe less than 10% of my CPU. So I actually run the higher quality one. I actually want to bump this up just right there. So we're hitting limiter first. We're then hitting the noise suppression and then we're just closing it all together so that it's only open when we're talking. And that's going to give you the best audio possible for OBS. Tip number three, and that is traditionally something where I would throw in something like posture and making sure you're close to your microphone. And yes, that's all really important, but that's not OBS related. This one is actually going to be on par with exactly the software we're using. And that is, you'll notice I've got two view meters up. One doesn't even have audio on it, and yet it's always up, always displaying, and eh, potentially could be something I click on wrong, I mute the wrong channel, whatever it is. Really get used to hiding things that you don't need. If you can simplify your setup in OBS, you will have a better live stream because you're gonna have less mistakes, especially if you're switching cameras a lot, doing a live stream for like an event versus just a Twitch stream of yourself and just a webcam in your game. But if you're getting real complex in OBS, right click, hide, make it disappear and that's okay. If you're not using it, don't see it. And if you ever need to bring it back for whatever reason, right click, unhide all. 
really get used to doing that. It's gonna clean up your setups. If you have someone else stepping in for you while you take a bathroom break during a long live event, they're not gonna get totally confused when they sit down. So that's my last tip is to clean up your OBS setup so you don't have unnecessary stuff uh, that, that kind of clutters your, your UI. One last bonus tip and that is I've got to pitch some kind of product on this show because we often forget to do that stuff. We do have new merch over at ddmic.com and you can also get better OBS audio if you tell people in the hallway to shut up. I am recording. I am getting my game on and I am Twitch streaming. You just gotta hang that on your doorknob and everyone in the hallway will know what you're doing. So that is my last bonus tip. Go pick yourself up the deity door knocker that tells people to quiet down, please. Very politely and bright and yellow. Hey, if you like this kind of content, Tell us more what you guys want down in that comment section below. We are actually gonna be doing some videos coming up with a lot more tutorials, these kinds of step-by-step -step things that really you can take home and duplicate yourself. So we are looking for more ideas in that regard. Don't forget, we're always doing our mailbag episodes. They will be coming up also, which means hashtag mailbag down in that comment section below. If your comment is used, you win a V-Love. Hey, don't forget to hit like, follow, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones, and thank you for watching. Hey, if you're looking for more OBS kind of content because you really want to get into the Twitch streaming world, go check out our little setup, which is a very basic tutorial on a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with OBS and live streaming in general, talking everything from cable routing to microphone setups to exactly what you need to do in OBS to get started. So go check out that content right now.